His characters are known across the world. But few people have heard of John Wanda. Wanda Studios, creator of Busby Bear, was once rivaled only by Disney. It was Wandaland, his ill-fated theme park, that destroyed John Wanda. First scheduled to open in 1959, then in 1960, then in 1961. In 1962, after years of delays, millions over budget, the park was abandoned. Park Street, Wandaland. Designed by Wanda himself, based on the memory of his childhood hometown of Matheson, Indiana. Everything on Park Street was kept scrupulously clean, unnaturally clean. So clean it felt sterile, like a hospital ward. For five years, Wanda slept in a secret apartment above the Singleton Bakery. He could often be seen standing at the window, watching the park being built. In the center of Wonderland was a massive warehouse, a temporary structure where the park was designed and constructed. Wanda had seen Wonderland through countless iterations, supervised the design of every door handle, and wallpaper, and toilet seat, personally tested every can of Venetian red or wedding cake white, knew the precise size and location of every last nail in the park. He would make one change, then another, then another. Meanwhile, the company was hemorrhaging cash, and Wanda seemed to not even notice. People began to question whether he even wanted the park to open. Maybe he wanted it all to himself. Wandaland, his own private fiefdom. On the 2nd of August, 1962, Charlie Thompson, a construction worker in Wonderland, fell 190 feet from the top of the Olympia statue and was impaled on a spike below. The scandal that followed would destroy Wonderland. The park's investors panicked, then finally withdrew. Then the park was empty, but Wanda refused to leave. He said he wanted a few days off to screen a few films. Only two others remained. Each morning, Wanda would write a list of eight films and leave it on the desk for the projectionist. Then, after 16 hours of movies, he would lie down in the aisle to sleep. Wanda stayed in that theater for three months continuously watching movies. His hair and nails grew long. He never once left the theater, not even to bathe or to sleep. And then one morning, John Wanda vanished.